hello sure we had yes a simple patcher and not much more um today we i i kind of have to go in two directions with this uh, sometimes we can work on our patches but at the very beginning we also need to understand how max works and to take advantage of the of the features that it has so i wanted to take a moment to show you some of those as we work on our patcher today we're going to go over in this area um, over here and look at these tabs and at least try to find a reason to use each one of them starting with the Explorer um, and so doing that um, we'll just get started with the old Explorer and we're going to look for an object in the Explorer you have all the max objects over here on the right side so let's try to find a slider here's my favorite slider and we can just drag that out here and put it up here and I'm gonna move these around a little tiny bit just to make room for it now so within the Explorer and you'll notice now that we only have sliders over here click on the X here and we get all of our other objects over here and if you turn these they're grouped by section if you want to see the objects that are good for audio here they are etc all the way down but sometimes you just have to search for them there's 836 items that's a lot okay so we have a slider over here a slider is like a volume knob and it puts out numbers at the bottom we um, whoop, I didn't get that um, there we go zooming in if we go over that outputs value when slider is changed and we can use that to output a new number for this and so let's just connect that right to you know I'm gonna connect it over here but first I just want to show you if you connect it to this side nothing's gonna happen this only triggers the message that's already there it can't change the message of a message box if you go in the right hand side it can actually change the message and once we do that okay we're gonna lock our patcher which I do by hitting command E on a PC that's probably control E so here's command E and now it's locked and you'll see as we go up and down it goes to 127 and it goes all the way down to zero so if we turn the metronome on right now it can hardly do anything because it's got a zero in there it doesn't really know what to do hmm. oh <laughs> very good yes we're changing the number in the message box but we've never sent the number so when we do send this particular number it's going to go quite fast if we set it to 127 that's going to be eight times per second I believe so when I punch this there it goes much much faster I'm not even sure if the video can pick this up and then I can move it down and it'll even go faster 69 one thousandths is even quicker than that I, I don't think the camera is getting it anymore it probably just looks solid so we'll go back up to the top well obviously this number is too low so now we are going to employ a different tab unlock your patcher I, I would like it that you're doing this along with me unlock your patcher command E or control E and go over here to the inspector there's nothing here because we haven't selected anything we'll select the patcher and this says basic click on all over here these are all the settings and values that make our that are part of this slider and in this case the range only goes to 128 so why don't we make it go to something more usable for us like 2000 and then we'll also do another thing which is we'll click the float 
output button just so we can see something else about it okay and there's lots of other things you can do while you're here in the inspector you can change the background color of things here I'll zoom in on this and you'll be able to see it background color what color would you like your uh, slider to be perhaps red and then the border color oh uh, dark blue I think and then the knob color perhaps a brilliant yellow to match our lovely uh, flashing button so now having changed all those things put that away and come back over here I lock down my patcher or go into running mode and now when we move this we can see that there's uh, decimal values in here and um, that the range goes much much higher now again we haven't clicked on the message box so this thing's still going really fast now it's going to go really slow less than one per second you notice also that there isn't enough room inside the message box here so I'm going to unlock the patcher get this little thing and stretch it out a bit so that we can see what the number really is okay so 14,000 1446.153809 very important to be accurate when you're doing this kind of stuff so um, and here if we whoops forgot to lock it there we go so we'll make it go a little bit faster how about 999 I don't think we're gonna get that kind of accuracy a thousand one per second and then we'll punch it again click okay and now we've got one per second so that is how to um, sort of recalibrate your objects by using the inspector now if you want to know what you can send to an object and particularly a complicated object like the metronome you open up the reference you select the metro and you open up the reference and you see that the arguments this a here saying what this argument can be in here is the time interval and here's the messages that you can send to the metronome this is uh, and also the attributes we'll get to that later that's kind of a nice um, uh, set of things to to know about but um, being able to know what types of things you can send to it is always very good and then finally before we get to the max list we're going to have to make another object so I'm going to go back to Explorer my patcher is unlocked and I'm going to make a print object and so I pull an object down here or you can I'm gonna uh, delete this and I just want to show you a, a shortcut that I use all the time you just press N there's a new object type print in it and then some kind of name print Louise or print Harvey hello Harvey you'll see why I do this in a minute and then we move this over to here and now if we go over to the max window you'll notice that Harvey the object it's not an ob it's telling you where it's coming from it's going bang 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 one every second so that's a way that you can send data out in max and it's it's very useful to do it that way um, and I just want to show you one other thing I'm gonna stop this just so we don't um, uh, fill up our message board I gotta lock this and turn the toggle off sometimes and then I unlock it again so I can move stuff around 
I want to send something out to print to Harvey and maybe I want to um, send it somewhere else too. Let's say I need to print Jack somewhere. So I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to push the Option key down, click on Print Harvey, and move it over here. Then I'm going to change the name to something that doesn't look anything like Harvey. Print Banana. OK. And now, well, here, first we'll do this. I forgot to do this with the other chord, sorry. How unneed of me. There we go. That's helpful. There we go. All looking good. So now we lock it and turn it on. And uh, oh yeah, I'll clear this real quick. Harvey, bang, banana, bang, Harvey, bang, banana, bang. It's telling you where the bangs are coming from. This is a really good thing for later when you need to troubleshoot a problem patch that you're working on to know what order things are coming out in and from where from whence they come okay and now just one last quick thing about sending data a new another new object push the button the the n key oops unlock your patcher unlock your patcher push the n key and type just the letter S. You could type send, as you can see. Send messages can be an S or where is it? Or send. You can use either one. I use an S. Send um, Bob. Okay, and push the N again. R, Bob. You can probably guess what R stands for. Receive Bob. Now, I'm only going to do this to one of these because I just want to show you it's really the same thing. Um, sometimes when you're trying to be neat and you have 10,000 patch cords flying around your patcher, you don't want patch cords going between things. Right now this is a pretty simple patcher, but I assure you they do get complicated. This acts as a patch cord and the nice thing is it can go to, go to multiple locations actually. Here we'll just duplicate this receive Bob and put it over here and we'll move this patch cord <laughs> in such a strange way. There we go. Now they're both this is sending Bob and this is receiving Bob. It's like a radio station named Bob. Okay, let's lock our patcher and start it again. Now, interestingly and almost impossibly something happened and I'm going to have to show you this very carefully and just zoom in on it. Right here Banana Harvey, banana, banana. That means that the difference between using patch cords and using receive Bob is that one of these gets its information before the other when it used to get it after the other. Doesn't usually matter, but sometimes it does. So that's something to watch out for, and that's something that the Max window is very good for. I think we're right at the edge of our 10 minute video limit now. So I'm going to call it a day and I will see you at the next video. Patch well. Talk to you soon.